Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will see what are reciprocal equations and we will also look at one example of solving a reciprocal equation. So first let us understand what are reciprocal equations. If you, if we can write f of x as x to the power of n into f of 1 by x then f of x is known as reciprocal equation. Let us take a one simple example. Let us say f of x is equal to a x to the power of 4 plus b x cube plus c x square plus b x plus a. Now what will be f of 1 by x? f of 1 by x is where in place of x I have to put I have to substitute 1 by x. So it becomes a by x to the power of 4 plus b by x cube plus c by x square plus b by x plus a. Now if I can write f of x is nothing but equal to x power n where n is a value a natural number multiply with f of 1 by x then that equation is known as a reciprocal equation. Now if you look at f of x that is a x to the power of 4 plus b x cube plus c x square plus b x plus a and we have on the other side f of 1 by x that is a by x to the power of 4 plus b by x cube plus c by x square plus b by x plus a. Now what is the relation f of x can I write it as x power n. Now suppose I multiply this x power 4 what happens? x power 4 into a by x power 4 is a, x power 4 into b by x cube is bx, x power 4 into c by x square is cx square, x to the power 4 into b by x is bx cube and x to the power 4 into a is equal to ax power 4. So this condition is satisfied. So f of x is known as reciprocal equation. Also another way of understanding in simple terms is if you have a equation in such a way that the terms of the quotient of the terms from the center are equal. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms are there. Third term is the center. What is the quotient of first term? A. What is the quotient of last term? A. Similarly, what is the quotient of second term? B. What is the quotient of fourth term? B. Then such a equation is known as reciprocal equation. Now let us take one example of how to solve the reciprocal equation. Let's look at let's look at this example. X power four plus three x cube minus two x square plus three x plus one. First of all, is this a reciprocal equation? Let us check that. The quotient of first term is one and quotient of last term is one. Quotient of second term is three. Quotient of last term from second is also three. So that means you see that one equal to one and three equal to three and minus two in the middle. Whatever this may be you know that these coefficients are same. So that is nothing but it is a reciprocal equation. That means we can write it as f of x equal to x power n into f of 1 by x. Now how to solve this? The One of the approach to solve the reciprocal equations is to convert the given equation into, into x plus 1 by x. How we do that? For that what we will do, we will take f of x divide with x square throughout. If I do that, I get x square plus 3x minus 2 plus 3 by x plus 1 by x square equal to 0. Now this is the equation given to us. f of x is that. We have to solve for that f of x is that but what we have to solve is 
f of x equal to 0. So we have to find out the x value. Okay. Now you can see that x square plus 1 by x square can be kept at one place. Can I can take common in the next two terms of 3x and 3 by x. Can I write it as 3 into x plus 1 by x minus 2 equal to 0. Now I will try to convert this into quadratic equation of x plus 1 by x. For that I have to convert this. So my next step will be a square plus b square equal to a plus b whole square minus 2ab that is minus 2 plus 3 into x plus 1 by x minus 2 equal to 0. If I take x plus 1 by x equal to t, we'll write down x plus 1 by x is equal to t. If we take that, we have t square plus 3t minus 4 equal to 0. Now you can take, you can split the middle terms and you can write it as t plus 4 into t minus 1 equal to 0 or can I say t equal to minus 4 or t equal to 1. So we have two values for t but what is our t x plus 1 by x. So x plus 1 by x equal to minus 4 and x plus 1 by x equal to 1. Now these are nothing but quadratic equations. Can I write it as x square plus 1 equal to minus 4x or x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. Other, other one is x square plus 1 equal to x or x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's solve them separately. These are quadratic equations. ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 format. These are equations in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 for which we know the solution is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. We know that. So we'll just directly do that formula here will find out x value. x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is the format. So x equal to minus b that is minus 4 plus or minus root of square root of b square 16 minus 4ac that is 4 divided by 2a that's equal to 2. So can I say minus 4 plus or minus root 12 that is 2 root 3 by 2 or minus 2 plus or minus root 3. That's one value of x that is minus 2 plus or minus root 3. If you go on the other side we have x equal to minus b that is 1 plus or minus b square is 1 minus 4ac that is minus 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2 so this is equal to 1 plus r minus root 3i divided by 2 minus square root of minus 3 equal to square root of 3 into square root of minus 1 but square root of minus 1 is i it's nothing but root 3 into i because i square equal to minus 1 that's complex numbers or you can just leave it here 1 plus r minus square root of minus 3 by so that's how we can solve a reciprocal equation. So we have seen in this session what is a reciprocal equation and we have looked into one simple example how to solve a reciprocal equation. So if the degree is 4 and it is a reciprocal equation the easiest way to solve it is divide it by x square and convert that into a quadratic equation of x plus 1 by x take x plus 1 by x equal to 1 variable and try to find out its value. Now go back and do the back substitution. Find out the value of x by solving the quadratic equations. So I'll catch you once again with another interesting topic. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.